Hey guys, Yogi's Tech here, and today I'm just going to show you how to use Game Center because a lot of people have been asking me how you use it, and when I add people on Game, they actually don't know how to add me and they don't know how to use it properly. So I'm just going to show you that now. Game Center is a brand new social gaming application that has been made by Apple. It came out late last year for all iOS devices on all platforms. So, um, you have to be on iOS 4 and upward, so it's for the iPod Touch all generations, iPhone all generations and iPads all generations. So basically you get with your Apple ID, it'll come preloaded with the iOS 4 update. So I'm just going to take it through now. So this is the home screen, both your username is there, so mine is Shuri993. Have your friends, I have 7 friends, 63 games and 461 achievements as you can probably see. And here is where you put your status. So, for example, I might just put, let's play. And then all your friends will actually see that, and if they want to join the game, they can. Now let's look at the navigation bar down there. Obviously, your email will be there as well. So, click on the navigation bar. So, here you can see we have four options. We have me, so that's your profile. Friends, all the friends that you have right there. That's what it looks like. Games. So what games you have, if you tap on them you can find out the achievements, so as you see I have a lot of games on there. And you have your requests, so friend requests that you want to join basically. So I'm just going to take you all through the tabs, so your friends tab. Most people actually don't know how to add friends on here and they don't actually know how to use this tab. So I'm basically just going to explain it to you now. Basically this is your friends tab. Up in the right hand corner right here you have a plus sign, if you press that you can actually add friends. Now you can either do my email or you can do it by nickname. For example, if you want to add me, Shereen993. Basically that's it. And then notification comes on to my iPod screen telling me if you want to add me. I press OK and we can start playing games. So that's basically, basically how you add friends. And for example, if I want to play a game with my friend, uh, let's try this top one. Tap on their profile. You see his profile um, tag is at NASCAR right now. You can see, you see he has 8 friends, 6 games and 72 achievements. Scroll down, you'll see the games that we have in common. That is Ricky Carmichael's Motocross and the games that he has as well. So for example, if I wanted to play a game with him right now, I can click on the game that we have in common. See what he has, all the statistics between me and him. And also if I wanted to join him, I would just simply go into the app, press um, Two player and it will just go into the um, game straight away. So as you saw as well, at the bottom of the friend screen it has unfriend and report a problem. But obviously you don't want to do that because they're friends. Most of my friends are actually from the USA because most of my friends in the UK don't actually know how to use Game Center or they don't use it at all. Um, so that's basically the friends tab. Games. Now this is all the games that you have on your i device. So your iPod Touch, your iPhone or your iPad. So this is all the games I have on here, Lane Splitters, Dick BMX, Dash Dash, Angry Birds obviously, and all those great games. So if I want to see all my achievements for that game, I can just press on it. Leaderboard achievements, recent played. Leaderboards, where you are rank worldwide. Achievements, the achievement that you have recently played, the score that you've recently got. And you can also share it on Game Center by telling a friend. So if you want to look at my achievement for example, just tap on it. And you see all my achievements right here. In Control, Bobber and Weaver, Just Passing Through, and all those right there. The question marks mean you haven't got them yet. But a very good example of this to show you is actually Angry Birds. Now Angry Birds has loads of achievements on them, so it's very easy to see what you need to do and what you don't need to do. So I'm just going to find the original Angry Birds game right here. Here it is. Actually, that's, a, that's the um, iPod version. Let me find the... Here it is, Angry Birds. This is the iPod Touch version, on the iPhone version. Basically, Angry Birds has loads of achievements, and it's a very um, good way of showing you an example, because Angry Birds is one of those games that achievements are just being added to it every single day, basically, every single update. So you go, each bird that you get, you get an achievement, each world you defeat, you get an achievement. If you get three stars on one world, you get an achievement for that. And also, you want to notice that in some um, Game Center games, They'll actually have a dial around the question mark showing you how far away you are from getting that achievement. So, for example, if I complete an episode, it will tell me I have 50% to go to complete the episode. So you see loads and loads of humans for Angry Birds. 
So right now I'm going to show you how to use Game Center in your games. So uh, that's it basically. So now let's just go into my, my games. There you go. Right. So basically on the Angler's home screen, you can see that they have two, one, three, and the cup. Those are your achievements. This is your leaderboard. So where you are on the world leaderboard. There you go. To at school and your friends as well. And it's all players worldwide. Okay. So you can today. High scores for today, this week, if you've been playing it this week, and all time. So then you press done, and then you go into achievements. And here you go. This is basically how you use it. You go. All the achievements are already done. And the ones at the bottom are the ones I haven't done. That's basically how you use Game Center. And the reason Angle Base is a very good example is there's achievement on nearly every single level of Angle Birds. So if you get a golden egg, that's an achievement. If you break any obstacles, that's an achievement. So that's basically how you use Game Center. So if you want to add me on Game Center, Shreen1993, information down below. I will also be linking a um, Apple video to show you how to use it as well. Peace out.